Touch in New Jersey and we just left a really quaint little antique bookstore where they had books dating back, back as far as the 1600s. Which was amazing, but now we are going to fast forward a few hundred years and we are going to enter the more modernized version of a bookstore. Let's take a look inside to be continued bookstore. So we're here today with Karen, the part owner of To Be Continued Bookstore. And Karen, can you just tell us a little bit about the store and just how you started and how you, I guess, found the location? Sure. And the um, name. <laughs> the name, I yes. The name. Uh, well, we've been here about a year and a half. And um, before we were here, there was a bookstore here for seven years. Um, and before he was here, there was a bookstore here for another possibly seven years. So this specific location has had a bookstore in it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we found out that the bookstore who was here before, which was the Rack and Tour, was closing, we felt very sad. Um, I grew up in Metuchen, and uh, we felt that Metuchen without a bookstore was wrong. Uh, yeah. For the Brainy Borough, it didn't seem to make a lot of sense not to have a bookstore. So we decided to um, take over the legacy of having a bookstore in this spot. Um, so that's why we opened up a bookstore here. Um, we felt that it was a, a natural location, a natural choice. Um, people's f feet over the years have just walked into this destination exactly, and yeah, expected nice. to find books. Um, so a year and a half later, people are still coming into the bookstore for the first time because for years they always knew there was a bookstore here. Exactly, so it, yeah. was, uh, it was an easy transition uh, for the most part. Wonderful. Nice. So now, do you have a background in literary art, or is just this a, lo a long time love of yours? Um, uh, a long time love, I'd say. Um, big reader, a uh, big fan of books, um, and it started also uh, because of Metuchen and um, the yeah. education. Uh, strong uh, language arts programs, uh, great teachers, and uh, lots and lots of literature uh, that we learned growing up and kind of stuck with throughout the years. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of also a give back to all the great things that we learned growing up here in Metuchen. Um, it wasn't, uh, you didn't need to be a literary scholar to actually learn a lot about literature yeah. and leave uh, Metuchen schools. So it was easy, easy so segue. Cool. And the name, <laughs> To Be Continued. Well, To Be Continued is, I guess, the natural uh, name for the bookstore because it's continuing um, the legacy, yeah. the yeah. legacy of the bookstores. So um, it was, um, we had a lot of community support. Uh, originally when we opened up, we had a lot of input from even previous bookstore uh, owners who, who helped uh, come up with some ideas and some concepts. Um, we tried to also uh, have the town um, get involved with picking the name of what the bookstore might be. Oh, that's um, cool. And they did vote uh, a lot for it to be continued. People seem to wow. like that, that uh, tag, so it stuck. So it's basically done. the community is su such a backbone to the actual book it is. itself. It is. Wonderful. It is. We felt like this was some a bit of a community service that we could do for the town. Exactly, yeah. um, And uh, there are many people um, who love Metuchen. Um, and when you love something, you want to do something nice for it. Exactly. So yeah. We, uh, we try to uh, kind of give, well, whether it's book readings or whether it's art shows or whether it's music, um, something for people of the town to enjoy. That's wonderful. I think that's amazing. And just to speak on what you just mentioned a little bit, I noticed that you guys don't just sell books here. You have a bunch of, yeah. I mean, you have vinyl records, you have the little flower that yeah. has little knickknacks and yeah. things. Which yeah. is made by someone <laughs> who... This actually, this lady is Sarah Monica. Um, she's in Dunellen, and uh, she makes all of these handmade flowers uh, from uh, different fabrics, polyesters and cottons, um, all made in the USA. Um, it's a millinery flower, nice. and so it's uh, very neat. Um, we have um, steampunk art. We have... Uh, journals we have candles yeah, you can um, see it. yeah we have lots of we have handmade wood jewelry um, nice. from wood all over the world um, lots of different things that we do in the store and we rotate it so our customers will come in and hopefully not see the same thing um, over and over again that there's always something new for them to uh, explore that's wonderful. Nice. And I noticed that a lot of the things that you sell here are made by uh, New Jersey residents, like New Jersey locals. They are. They are. We featured soap, a uh, handmade soap from a lady yes. from Morristown. Um, we have some uh, Japanese paper art right now from a local girl uh, who makes dolls. Um, uh, she lives in Edison. Um, and again, Dunellen, um, Metuchen, uh, uh, East Windsor. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, locals. A lot of that's locals. great. I so think that's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> so to be continued just basically supports the community and yeah pretty much supports the arts, which is we, great. We try, we try. There's uh, There are a lot of um, what we call, or what I call, a lot of artists out there who look like maybe a soccer mom or a soccer yeah. dad. Um, they don't wear the persona of um, 
I'm an artist. Uh, yeah. They're everyday yeah. people and they have a lot of hidden talents and uh, we're happy to give them a space to, to feature it. That's, That's awesome. So, so now, that. what would you say distinguishes To Be Continued from the larger chain bookstores that are out there that people are, you know? And that's a good question. Um, you can't really compete. There's mm -hmm. no way you can compete. Uh, they will always uh, have more or something different. Um, where we try to uh, meet that is with service. Um, and uh, we know our customers. Our customers come to us for service. Uh, we have many book uh, dialogues and conversations regularly about the books that they read. So it becomes um, a community space uh, where uh, the people who come in, um, whether they're coming in for coffee or coming in for a book, mm -hmm. um, they, they know that they're going to meet a friend here. Um, you know, People come in every day, mm -hmm. uh, similar time frames, similar patterns. Um, so they end up having discussions that they would never be able to have probably anywhere. Else. And you have a sign outside that actually, actually says, Browsers Welcome. It's yeah. yes. very rare to find well, in a bookstore, yeah, but, but you, you know, allow it. It's yeah, wonderful. the browsers are pretty interesting because <laughs> they're going to share, if they're walking into a bookstore, they're probably of a, of a literary mind, yeah. um, and so they're going to be sharing something that's interesting or unique about their perspective on a topic. So we can have some pretty heated discussions in the bookstore <laughs> um, on uh, global warming or on uh, Obamacare yeah. or whatever it might be, or uh, maybe somebody just really didn't like a book. So, and we'll have all sorts of conversations. So it's a, it's a very uh, entertaining atmosphere. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's the big difference. It's more like a family here. It is. Yeah, you can't it buy is. that anywhere. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can feel it in the atmosphere when you Definitely. walk in. It's very warming, Definitely. very calming, and very inviting. inviting. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Love it. It's like kind of Thank like you. a living room setting. So if well, you guys ever come to visit the store, it really is like a living room you setting. You should definitely amazing. check it out. We have original 1950 sofas here. Um, oh, which, wow. Um, yeah, they're, uh, it's a uh, mid-century modern style, and uh, they're really easy to move. Yeah. So uh, uh, they just get out of the way when we need to uh, have for, <laughs> for our shows. Oh, and we do uh, improv uh, the last Thursday of every month uh, nice. with a professional troupe um, called Death by Improv. Death they by Improv, in. I like yeah. that. <laughs> and, um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, so it's that's the only event that we actually have a cover for. Everything else is Everything free. Everything else is free. Yep. Yeah. And as far as events, what are the events besides the improv every Thursday? Um, it, it will vary uh, from book readings to music. Um, we um, allow the space to be used for a multitude of purposes, but uh, sometimes it's open mic. Um, sometimes wow. it's a uh, cupcake decorating, um, bead working, um, crafts, nice. whatever it might be. Um, if there's uh, also writing classes, um, oh, wow. mostly for SAT and uh, NJS prep, yeah. um, but uh, a bunch of different things for whatever people may uh, see the need for. That's wonderful. Oh. That's so transformative. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. So, so now, good. I spoke with your husband earlier, who's co-owner mm -hmm. of the store, and he mentioned something that I thought was really cool. He said that the artists that come in, all the donations that are uh, made to them go directly to the artists themselves. They do. Which is well, um, is the word donation? You mean if they buy something, right? Is right. That what you mean? Yeah, right. sure, sure. Yeah, we don't take... Um, um, so, the flower, for example, which is a good example. She is an artist. Um, the flower is fifteen dollars. All of that fifteen dollars goes to her. Yeah. So yes. So, so there's it, nothing taken nothing off the top. Right. It's just right. That's wow. Really nice. <laughs> so it's, um, that makes it very, very, yeah, very wonderful it's, uh, experience for the artist. It's yeah. for the artist. Yeah. And um, you know what? The, the the artist doesn't have to be a small artist. It can be a very successful artist. It's um, but it's a way for another avenue for them if they don't have a retail space on a main street yeah. for them to have their their stuff inside of a boutique. Wow. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Can you tell me a little bit about your vinyl collection? <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, it's the vintage vinyl. Um, it ranges from Crosby, Stills, and Nash to Squeeze. Um, wow, there's awesome. some Elvis in there. Um, doors. Yeah, the doors yeah. are in there. <laughs> I saw, I saw a Blondie 45 down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's some picture discs. There's some 45s. Um, we even have uh, some Sinatra nice. 78s, um, wow. some, some old things. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's pretty uh, awesome. Um, you never know what you're going to find in there, uh, <laughs> and so it's um, it brings in a different uh, eclectic crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does anybody great. ever decide to take one and say, "I want to play it right now. I need to hear all something." All the time, like really? all the time. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, we force people to sit down and listen to things that they've never heard before. <laughs> so we, we close the doors Good. and we force them to listen to ABBA or um, <laughs> you force them close to the yeah. doors and turn on the doors. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like yeah. that one. Yeah, we yeah we force them. That if they don't know it, then they must know it. Exactly. So yeah. They're forced now to be educated. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So you're basically going to learn something whether you like that's it or not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you that's can come right. buy a flower, you can come buy a book, that's you can come right. discuss, yeah. that's you can come right. listen yeah. to music. That's if you don't have time, don't come in. You know, stay yeah. on the relax. <laughs> I love that. That's, that's a good great. Well, thank you so much, Karen, <laughs> for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you okay. so much. Thank Guys, you. you have to really come check out this bookstore. It's really amazing. Nice. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.